everyone, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel. I am here today on, what day is it? August 7th, 8th, 8th, August 8th, it's a Saturday, yay! Love Saturdays. And I am here today with another update video, even though I will say it's only been like a week since my last one, so I consider that like a major win that I am back. But I am really excited to show the progress that I made because I have another finish. And I am so excited about it because I didn't really ha plan on having it finished this soon. And so yes, I'm here to show that. So we'll just start with the finish. So my finish was on Alice by Mirabilia. I will insert here where it was when I started working on it last week. And I just got it finished today. So she is super fresh. So here she is. She is stitched on 28 count flapper from Picture This Plus, and I love her so much. So I just finished the beading today. I finished the stitching on her dress last night, and she's done. Uh, the only thing that I changed was I think the clock here, or the, yeah, was supposed to have French knots. And I used the beads that are down on like this bottom part of her dress. I just used beads. I hate French knots. I'm not good at French knots. And so I just switched it out. So that's her and I love it so much. This was my first Mirabilia and I started it on, I think I started it Christmas of 2019. So last Christmas I started it and I'm super excited because she's done one more time finished. So there is that. Hopefully I actually frame it or something instead of just putting it with all of my other finished charts. So the only other thing that I worked on last week was Mini Home is Where the Magic Is by Randall Spangler charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And I will insert here where it was when I started. And here is where it is now. I am going to try and have this finished by November and to do that I need to do 300 stitches a day which is what my goal is so basically try and get 300 stitches every day and it will hopefully be finished I am stitching this extreme cross country by color I think I finished one color that had like a thousand stitches and then I did a couple colors that only had a couple hundred stitches just to get a few more colors done so like in that, I think this is going to be like the door area. I did some of those browns that don't have stitches anywhere else really. And so I was able to finish off a few colors that were just right in here. And I am loving this and I can't wait to have it finished. My sister finished hers and it looks so good. So I would like mine to be finished before this Christmas. So that's the goal. Ah, stick that there. And then for this week, what I am planning on working on is I want to keep working obviously on mini home is where the magic is and then I also need to work on something that I am behind on so I started the lunar princess stitch along from who is it from hold on where is it from sleeping luna designs on Etsy I will link her down below and I got behind so I just kind of quit stitching for a while and so I wasn't working on this and I need to finish, I think this now, like what she has released goes like all the way around. So I need to get working on this. This is 28 count Lugana, I think, that I dyed myself. And I'm stitching it two over two full cross. So I need to catch up. I need to work on that. And then what else do I wanna work on? I have like all my whips here because I just <laughs> did a whip braid. And so I'm just kind of looking at them because I would like to stitch on everything. So like, where was it? I saw Templar Prophecy and I really want to work on that if I can find it in my stack. Okay, so Templar Prophecy. I might try and work on this a little bit this week because look at it. So this is Templar Prophecy by Long Dog Sampler. And I am stitching it on 22 count Hardanger that I dyed myself one over one full cross using DMC 666 and I want to work on this so bad now. So I might try and work on that a little bit this week. We'll see what happens. 
Plus, I was also thinking about starting the Kingdom Hearts chart from, who was it from? Uh, Cross Stitch Salon on Etsy. I'll insert here that picture. And I think if I start it, it's going to be on 18 count Ada, two over one full cross because um, that chart is kind of a smaller chart. I think it's like 200 by 200 stitches. And the finished size, if I did it on 28 count, would have been pretty small. So I want to do it on 18 count just so I have a slightly bigger finished size. So yeah, I think that is everything that I have to show for this week's update video. I hope to be back next week with another update video to show what I have worked on because it's a lot easier to um, do weekly updates because a lot of the times after a couple weeks you kind of forget what you had worked on and it becomes a lot harder to remember. So thank you everyone for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing and I will see everyone in my next video hopefully in a week. We'll see. <laughs> Bye.